The Russian military has annihilated more than 13,000 Ukrainian tanks and other combat vehicles since the invasion, special military operations, the Russian Defense Ministry claimed. A total of 517 aircraft, 253 helicopters, 8,392 unmanned aerial vehicles, 441 anti-aircraft missile systems, 13,006 tanks, and other armored combat vehicles, 1,170 multiple rocket launchers, 6,902 field artillery and mortar guns, as well as 14,760 units of special military vehicles have been destroyed since the beginning of the special military operation, the statement said, according to TASS News Agency. On the other hand, on October 28, the Russian Ministry of Defense revealed a successful interception of four ATACMS missiles, two JDAM bombs, three HARM missiles, and eight HIMARS projectiles, while also eliminating 36 drones operated by the Ukrainian armed forces. The state news agency TASS broadcasted this official communication. The ministry's statement elaborated, We successfully engaged and intercepted four operational tactical ATACMS missiles, two JDAM guided munitions, three harm anti-radar missiles, and eight projectiles from the American-originated HIMARS multiple launch missile systems. Furthermore, Ukrainian drone activity was neutralized in the regions encompassing the Proletarka and Sagi settlements in the Kherson region, Valerianovka, Veselo, Spornoy in the Donetsk People's Republic, Verknekomenka in the Luhansk People's Republic, and Tokmak in the Zaporizhia region with the destruction of 36 unmanned aircraft. The Ukrainian AGM-88 Harm high-speed anti-radiation missile plays a crucial role when used in a joint operation with ATACMS Army Tactical Missile System or HIMARS High Mobility Artillery Rocket System missiles. The primary function of the AGM-88 Harm is to suppress or destroy enemy air defense systems that emit radar signals. These systems, such as surface-to-air missile launchers or radar-guided anti-aircraft artillery, pose a significant threat to friendly aircraft. By neutralizing or disabling these radar systems, the AGM-88 harm helps create a safer environment for the ATACMS or HIMARS missiles to operate effectively and reach their intended targets. In a joint operation, the AGM-88 harm can be launched from an aircraft to engage and destroy enemy radar systems. Once the AGM-88 Harm is launched, it uses its onboard sensors to detect and track the radar emissions from the enemy air defense systems. It then homes in on the source of the emissions and delivers a high-explosive warhead to neutralize the threat. By eliminating or disabling enemy radar systems, the AGM-88 Harm helps to degrade the enemy's ability to detect and engage friendly aircraft or missiles allowing the ATACMS or HIMARS missiles to operate with reduced risk of being targeted or intercepted. When used in conjunction with ATACMS or HIMARS missiles, the AGM-88 Harm provides a valuable capability to suppress or destroy enemy air defense systems, which can enhance the effectiveness and survivability of the joint operation.
According to Russian military strategists, the most significant threat to their positions in Ukraine does not stem from the ATACMS missiles, but from the AGM-88 harm. By eliminating these missiles promptly, Russian air defenses will find it simpler to detect the slower-moving ATACMS. Thus, Moscow views the neutralization of the harm carriers as a priority. Illustrating this priority, the Russian Ministry of Defense announced on October 20 that coordinated efforts from combatants and air defense units led to seven Ukrainian MiG-29 aircraft being incapacitated by the Russian forces. The briefing further mentioned that 12 adversarial aircraft, comprising 10 MiG-29s, two Su-25 attack planes, and two Mi-8 helicopters, had been disabled during the previous week. As military expert Alexei Lienkov explains to Izvestia, this success is largely due to the synergized operations of air reconnaissance and the effective regulation of the airspace control system. Frequent provocations and assaults on our fighters were carried out by these aircraft, utilizing AGM-88 missiles and decoys to mask Storm Shadow's operations, emphasizes Lienkov. It became imperative, as a result, to incapacitate these carrier aircraft. Notably, Izvestia cites Russian military tacticians observing that the urgency in the West to transfer Swedish F-16, Eurofighter, and Gripen to Ukraine can be understood in the context of Ukraine's significant reduction in aviation assets. Lienkov sheds light on this, stating, all the aircraft in use by the Air Force were obtained globally, with the United States and their allies supervising their assembly.